Hello guys, this is Professor Lego Dude here, and I'm going to be showing you my SDKFZ Wesp Tank. Okay, so these tracks are pretty good considering that the this part right here, you can kind of see right here. Oh, right here is really close to the tracks. Considering that, it works really well. Um, but, uh, it can't really work on, um, this, uh, flat surface, and, um, it hardly works on carpet either, so, um, that's kind of one of the problems of this tank, but, other than that, <coughs> Um, I kind of use the, uh, Brick Mania set to, um, uh, figure out the tank tracks, and, and then I made my own version of them. So, you can see the bottom. Um, and from this view, it looks a bit stout and a little bit awkward, but it looks better when you're looking from it, from the front. So, um... Let's get to the more overall of this set. So, um, the overall design, um, looks a bit like Brick Mania, and the reason why is because I kind of copied Brick Mania's design and then, or build or some of the techniques that they used in it, and then made my own version with it, so... That's why it looks kind of like Brick Mania's kit. Um, but if we look at the front, um, let me just put these back on. You can see that um, there's tank tracks, and these tank tracks are actually brown instead of the black they used in Brick Mania. Um, so I've got some tank tracks right here. The front of the vehicle is very smooth and flattened out. Then we've got this um, window here or um, and then you open it up and can't see the minifigure really well. Let me move the lighting. You might be able to see it. I don't think so. No. No luck. But there's a minifigure in there. Really hard to see. Um, and then it can fit a minifigure up here. Um, it's kind of lame torso from the uh, Atlantis set, but that's all I really had for this dark gray German, so I just used that. And then, so uh, if we look at the top, it's very flattened out and smooth. So, I like that. And then, look on the back, and it's got some uh, detailing on the sides. Okay, so you can see um, some of this. The interior, it's got lots of detailing, um, so let me just open this up. This is held by these plates right here, and just put that like that. So um, if we look inside, um, we can see the, the self-propelled gun artillery and you can actually take this whole thing off right here and you, I'll show you that so it's pretty long and it's got um, five of these cylinders on them this can just come off like that and you can actually when it's on there it can actually um, it's not very good, but 
can actually move it. When you try to move it down, it kind of comes off, like the whole thing comes off. But And then there's two of these that kind of hold it in place. And then over here you can see there's a machine gun. Here's a bit better look on the interior. And these are actually hollow on the inside. I can take this off. There. Um, one of these. And then I covered it up using these backpack pieces. So that's really nice. Um, these kind of go turn a little bit. So that's pretty cool. Just put this back in. And I guess I could fit too many figures if I modified it a bit. But I don't think I'm going to modify it anymore. Because this is a pretty nice design. If I did modify it, I pretty, I pretty much shorten this part or make it even longer and change this part so yeah th those are pretty much the flaws the flaws are the tank tracks that don't move very well and this right here that breaks off really easily and if we look over here there's a shovel um, okay, so just to show you how bad the tank tracks work, even on carpet, it's pretty bad. Okay, so I've opened it up so that you can see the minifigure, and you can fit one minifigure in there. <coughs> so, um... This tank is pretty sturdy for about this part of it, and then this part is really, really fragile, especially the this artillery part. So, yeah, um, if you want more, please subscribe and like.